Okay, bro, let's watch this then. Why people stop caring about Nikocado Avocado. In 2021, Nikocado's presence was basically inescapable. He was beefing with Penguin Zero, being satirized by Meat Canyon, and was even called out by PewDiePie. Dang. However, since being the talk of the town, people seem to have lost interest in Nikocado's shtick and are only watching the videos to confirm he's still alive. Nikocado's lost three main elements which had previously made him interesting, the first of which being, as mentioned previously, his conflict with other YouTubers. Mm -hmm. This began back in 2018 after PewDiePie first mentioned him. One of the biggest mukbang channels is uh, Nikado Avocado. And with the video gaining over Nikado 17 Avocado. million views, Nikocado realized that conflict helped him grow. When PewDiePie reacted to me, I was like, Oh, yeah. PewDiePie, <laughs> yes, whatever, call me shameless, whatever, greedy, but every YouTuber low-key kind of thinks that, you know what I mean? I mean, to an extent for sure, this month, Vegeta here, lava. Kakarot, you b my fault. He'd therefore lean into this by responding to James Marriott. Although having noticed the drama increased his chance of being covered by other YouTubers, Nikocado allowed his life to spiral out of control. Alongside gaining over 200 pounds, Nikocado was given My further fault. exposure through a series of videos by Oompaville, although it'd be after these uploads that Nikocado took things to a whole new level. I'm he began to Bad. fish for more negative public attention by uploading increasingly polarizing videos such as I'm at the hospital, my diagnosis has arrived, and my new diet as a disabled person, Jesus. with these videos certainly giving Nick the attention he was fishing for. On the 30th of September 2021, Penguin Zero uploaded a video titled This YouTuber is slowly killing himself for views, in which True. it showed over 16 million people Nick Accardo's absolute train wreck of a life. But then he started to notice that the video that gained a lot of traction were videos where he was just f***ing gluttonous and eating a million <laughs> calories per sitting. This is what he used to look like in 2017. Jeez. And then when the videos really started to gain traction, he gained over 200 That's kind of sad to he see. He is slowly killing himself and documenting the journey the entire time while having an understanding of exactly what he's doing. Nikocado took the chance to respond with his own video. This person thought it would be cute to sit down on the computer and talk about my weight in which you'd highlight Dude, how what npcs watch this do y'all do, do we have like any nikocado like viewers this is like some real npc activities y'all motherfuckers are weird dude what the f much exposure he'd been given look at my page you said twenty thousand people oh like that to thumbs down my content and everyone's t emailing my manager people are contacting my network with nikocado's response leading to another video from charlie reintroducing nikocado to an audience of 15 million Damn. less than one month later meat canyon posted his own video titled king of mukbang which <laughs> not only exposed nikocado to a further 20 million people Dang. but also prompted another response meat canyon oh clever name and i actually looked up this person on google and he's than me. Meat Canyon then <laughs> responded with his own me. video firstly explaining Wait, Nick what? what the f Why was that bleeped? He's fatter than me. Ah, uh, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Is fat a slur, bitch? I know, I know we headed in, a, we 2024 now. I, am I, is fat uh, now a slur or something? I just called him fat ass by accident, bro. Don't cancel me. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I f with fat people. Fat people are my friends. We are friends, not food. Don't eat me, you fat <laughs> My fault. <laughs> see, I just say stupid shit sometimes. My fault, bro. Meat Canyon then responded with his own video, firstly explaining Nikocado's strategy. Because the dude's smart. He knows that he's like, that's going to be clipped. It's going to be put up on the internet. It's just going to drive more traffic. What he's doing, he's a clown, but he knows what he's doing. Before For highlighting sure. another reason that Nick had gained an audience, the mystery around his character. It's like gone into this crazy charade where he blinks a lot. He does all these faces. He stomps <laughs> around. He does all this kind of crazy shit. At the height of his fame, Nikocado Avocado was a complete and utter puzzle. People had no idea what was real and what was fake. I think he's an actor. I don't actually think that he thinks this way. Was he actually breaking up with his husband every month or was it all made up for the show? Was he actually disabled or did he- <laughs> Yo, breaking up with your husband in front of some mozzarella sticks is f***ing crazy. The tears, the f***ing tears in front of the fries, man. Just buy the machine to gain some extra views. What was he like when the cameras weren't rolling? And to what extent was his personality exaggerated? I'm a character. I'm a troll. He's just acting. I'm not acting. 
You're an idiot. But thanks for the promotion. You're only making me richer. The mystery implied that Nick Ocado's life Jesus. was fresh, new, and interesting to Like, Al... <sighs> Like, at what stage do you think? Like, how much money is too much money? How much money will you be like, okay, I'm I'm going to stop killing myself with food now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, bro. Like, that just seems like a crazy trade-off to me. Audience. Every video began with him making a fool of himself in a range of different ways while mixing in some classic Nick Ocado jokes and phrases. And all these people are making fun of my weight saying, oh, he let himself go. It's called a medical mystery. Each episode then ended by eating extremely Jeez. unhealthy food, usually kept fresh with some drama from his husband. However, after reaching a peak in interest from the public, Nick Ocado began to face a serious problem. He was only being talked about by everybody because his life was such a train wreck, it couldn't get any more extreme. He keeps getting worse because he wants us to watch. And he knows True. the only way to get people to watch him is if he keeps getting worse. That's Although by divorcing his husband, becoming disabled and gaining an incredible amount of weight, Nick Ocado couldn't make the clickbait any more extreme, Jeez. which not only gave other YouTubers nothing fresh to talk about, but also made each Nick Ocado video extremely- You gotta amputate his legs, bitch. We gotta take the legs. That's the only way this channel is gonna get revived. Take the fucking legs. Amputate a foot. Start with the toes, bitch. Something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, I'm, you're, you're going, huh? And question mark. Bro, what is more ex extreme than breaking up with your, your husband? What's more extreme than, than gaining 600 pounds? How about losing a foot and having a nub? You know what I mean? Wild, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Well, well done, Kenji. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Go into the army. Why, bro? On the deathbed. Yeah, but that comes at a later time. That's too real and scary. No, it's it's not bro that would get people talking on god that would get people talking i'm trying to tell you for sure repetitive and perfectly predictable uh, the titles and thumbnails were all very similar diabetes uh can cause that to happen uh so kenji isn't wrong it's literally exactly why bro you know what i mean you can lose a, a limb you amputate a limb it's like oh shit, that mother is dying bro oh, let's watch him and eat Burger King. I'm just trying to think like a mukbanger, bro. The jokes and phrases never really changed, <laughs> while the foods Nick Ocado would eat didn't vary either. On top of this, the drama within the videos was so predictably consistent, it became an ineffective method of keeping the audience Dang. engaged, as they could tell it was always clickbait. However, there was one variable that other YouTubers began to suggest he implement. I would love there to be an insane redemption arc in this story, where he turns it all around and starts making healthier choices as True. we watch him rewind time and turn back into that 140 pound violin wielding twink we talked about at the beginning. If Nick made a weight loss journey video, I shit you not, it will be number one on trending. True. Wait, actually true. If he actually loses weight and call- Oh my fucking, I'm terrible. I said lose a leg. <laughs> Wait, actually, they're smarter than me. I'm gonna let YouTube comments cook, bro. It looks like his skinny self. He will earn all of our respect. This motherfucker would be in a wheelchair if he listened to me. <laughs> He'd be a nugget. Like, what? Tim come out of this jacked as heck, and his channel goes from a bunch of eating to diet and workout routines to help other people going through what he did. That'd, That'd be awesome. literally be the greatest thing to happen on YouTube. For sure. With the whole world hoping for a Nikocado weight loss journey, he'd upload two different healthy mukbang videos, which didn't get nearly as many views. People say a lot, but they don't really mean it. They say, oh, we want to see you eat healthy. I did that twice on my channels. Two times? Two times. <laughs> And I got half the views. Instead, Nick Ocado returned to the same old repetitive content, Dude, which cares caused about a steady views at that point, bro. At some point, you gotta stop caring about views and care about your health. You're like, no, this might this might seem fat shamey. I know. Cancel me, buddy. Buckle up for this one. Okay, buckle up. I know. Hey, we're gonna get dragged on Twitter. I know this is gonna be a fing rough ride. Listen, being obese is not healthy. I know it's crazy. Whoa, crazy take. Holy shit. I know it's insane to say it i know i'm so sorry listen being obese is not healthy bro like your body's gonna kill itself what are we talking about how much money is too much money dude how much views like at some point you gotta start caring about your health you know what i mean like what the f what the f you just say i know i know in this political climate i know i might i might say oh uh, <laughs> i'm quite a f revolutionary <laughs> i raise that flag and wave it around you know what i mean he dropped in his viewership until he finally did something different in november 2000 uh true in some situations but sometimes it's genetic if the genetics aren't like underlying diseases or some and you're just a lazy piece of shit that doesn't fucking work out and all you do is eat fucking mcdonald's all day shut the fuck up dude you're a lazy piece of shit at the end of the day dude i don't want to see no one talking about some genetics it'd be different if you're fucking, if you're born with a fucking no leg okay you 
can have some type of deficiency. You know what I mean? You have insulin problems, all that shit, okay? But if you are a normal average human being, okay? 600 pounds is not genetics, ass. 600 pounds is you being a lazy piece of shit and you're fucking killing yourself for views on a fucking YouTube channel, okay? Like, what are we talking about? And if you're not doing it for views, you're just doing it just to do it. And that's, pro that's probably fucking worse, if we're being honest. And I hate when people sit here and be like, oh, well, well, food's expensive and, and it's easier to order out and it, it's so much cheaper to order out. No, the fuck it's not, dude. With this, with the economy now, dude, it's like $20 for some fucking McDonald's. Like, what the fuck are we talking about, bro? How about eat right, eat fucking rice, and I promise you, rice and chicken is way cheaper than whatever the you usually eat every day have some fucking rice chicken and broccoli every single meal for the fucking next five months and go to the gym two times a day bro okay do a fucking cardio and then do a weightlifting and then see what the fuck happens see if your genetics play a fucking part 2022 nick Ocado spent a week with fellow youtuber oompaville producing two documentaries a mukbang and a tiktok reaction video the two youtubers made for such an entertaining duo nick Ocado actually became incredibly likable although given his most viewed month ever was when the entire world hated him being admired by the audience might have actually been a negative the other problem on top of this was that over the course of the videos nick Ocado steadily disintegrated the mystery surrounding his character uh -oh. This proves it's an act and makes me enjoy it versus be disgusted. Glad he did this. I like how sometimes you can see him break character. Reminds me that he's more than just this caricature. Nick's mystery dissipated further after the first episode of their podcast. It's hard to explain that- Dude, what the f Maybe it's cheaper, but since it's cheaper, you buy more and then you eat more and gain more weight. How about you? Uh, how about this? Listen, I got something that is actually free. You ready for this? Self control proportions. Like Yama f is, will come up with any type of way to just be like, I'm gonna eat a lot. Like you stupid. B Listen to you right now. You're like, oh, like, how about a little bit of self control, you dumbass? What the? F I don't like mother in my chat sometimes, bro. I'm sorry. It's a character, huh? but it's not a character. You are a character. But there's no character. That's the best way to put it. Uh, Which generated even more positivity, such as these podcasts make me unironically like Nick so much. When he's not ruining his life and screaming, he's actually portions. No proportions. I made up my own word. I'm a little stupid boy. <laughs> I'm a little stupid, but I'm no big. <laughs> stupid. Really funny. Behind the character, he actually sounds like Sorry. a fun, cool person. However, these comments failed to correlate with a substantial increase in views. Nick Ocado had seemingly made a deal with the devil. The more hated he was, the more views he'd gain. And by choosing Damn. to walk down a more likable path, That's most cool. of the hate watchers disappeared completely. Damn. This might have been furthered by another positive announcement a couple of months later. I lost 89 pounds. Nice. And I lost, I mean, look at my arms. Oh my God. Wow. You don't even recognize me, I know. Although losing weight meant doing fewer mukbangs, which while being extremely positive for his health, was a negative for Nick Ocado's relevancy. During 2000... Who fucking cares, bro? At rather, he already had, he, what more? Bro, you chase numbers. What, you want him to hit 76 million subscribers? Who cares? Who f who cares? Who cares? Like he has enough money to eat food. Like what are we talking about? That's all you need. He could probably retire his fucking family. What are we talking about? He doesn't need more money. He doesn't need more views. 2021, arguably his most popular year, Nick Ocado uploaded 24 mukbangs to his main channel, which is exactly triple as many as the eight uploaded in 2023. This becomes even more significant on his second channel, More Nick Ocado, where he uploaded 339 mukbangs in 2021, compared to just 15 in 2023. I've missed you a little bit. I know I don't post much anymore, but... <sighs> I don't even know what to say about that. The problem with uploading fewer oh. videos is that you fail to see where the genre is going and the mm -hmm. content therefore becomes substantially harder to innovate, which becomes obvious after looking at Nick's recent videos. His titles and thumbnails are still the exact same as they were three years ago, Damn. while the introductions have barely changed either. This might explain why his most recent main channel video didn't do so well. And while Nick oh, Ocado has- Oh man, it didn't do so- Oh no, so bad. It only did a half a million views. Oh, so like, shut the f up, bro. Sometimes, bro, like, what are we talking about? What's the definition of fall off? You know what I mean? Dude has a, a normal career. He's joked about quitting on multiple different occasions. A video uploaded just a few days ago feels like he might be serious. But it's nice to be away from all you a-holes. Why am I here for you anymore? I don't even know why I need to be here. So that's why I just moved over to my Patreon. Everyone has their tipping point. And you know, I have thick skin, very thick skin, but everyone has their breaking point. For sure.
I don't know, bro. The the illusion of like falling off is just stupid to me, to be honest with you, bro.